Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever.
I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness. I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. But when Grandfather revealed the whole truth of the Calamity to us, I finally understood. And I resolved there and then to continue his legacy in my own way. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship, whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled Grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course, it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Uriangier, of you. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. He is quite a man, the Lord Commander. I shall have to thank him for his kindness. Truth be told, I was rather taken aback by it all. Given Ishgard's famous love of foreigners, I was half expecting the Kyrugians to berate me for bleeding. But I never heard an unkind word. Everyone there seemed relatively open and friendly, in fact. Thanks in no small part to your tireless efforts, I suspect. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on, for the sake of those we hold dear. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the Mother? Every tool has its purpose. Even this. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Well, that's easy for him to say! 
It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Foresee? Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Asians alone. With thine own hand strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all too delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. What good a creed one cannot uphold. What hurts soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast, so too shall I. <laughs>